wanted to take a minute to show you what I've been working on. As you can see, I moved the motor to the center. It was sitting over here because I realized that I was pushing the blade through the log instead of pulling the blade through the log. So I had to put the motor on, on the, in a different place because I needed to turn it around. So I put it back in the center like a lot of models do theirs. A lot of people make theirs. And uh, I've been working on these bearings. If you can see them. And I've got one here that I've, on the left side that I hadn't finished yet. But basically it's like that except this bearings right here I'm going to slide down and it'll keep the blade from popping off the back of this bigger bearing and hold it all together. But anyways this will be slid over here and I'll make a bracket up here to hold it and make it adjustable. And so uh, and then the other thing is is I put a bigger pulley on. I went from a a six inch pulley to an eight inch pulley that I bought at Tractor Supply and you have to weld this part onto this part. It's only two pieces. And then I took and I put this handle right here on here and this is a release for the belt and so when I'm going to make it so you can lock it down in place so when you start your engine you're not starting it with the blade and everything engaged you can kind of release the tension right here if you see see it releases the tension and tightens it back up the spring up here that holds it and tried it yet but uh, I've got a few more things like I'm telling you to do and then we're going to try to run it again and I'll do a video then but a lot of people has been asking what's going on with it so that's just what's going on with it I'm, still been working on it and I didn't have to do the belt like that but I didn't want to buy another belt and I had these extra pulleys that come off of a decking of a lawnmower so that's what I made my tensioner pulley with and I stuck that other one on there so uh, that's how come I did that And because uh, if I'd changed belts I'd had to take all this off bone bolt this and this and run the belt out, run a new belt in, so I just figured out a way to do it so I didn't have to do that. Just welded a few more pulleys on and stuff. So, But anyway, so these here was what was on it from the factory and uh, broke them. This was my first set of bearing holders and he got messed up. Well, actually this is the first one and then this was the second one. And now this is my latest addition. You can all see how that kind of holds it on place there. You see that other one? It's all done with bearings and bolts. You can buy them anywhere and put them together. I know my welding's not the prettiest welding in the world, but it holds. So that's what I want to tell you. Thanks and have a good day.